Six changes from Tuesday night for Celtic as they look to combine their European adventure with the rigours of SPL football. Is Lustig breaking down the right. Now Hooper, oh, he's got past one. Gary Hooper with the shot, beaten away. It comes out to the English striker and behind for a corner kick. Good start from Celtic. Hooper, great skills to get away from King. But Essen did well. Matthews into the box. Up goes Wanyama. And it's in the back of the net. And Celtic have taken under four minutes to go in front in what was billed as being a very tricky match for the champions. But Victor Wanyama, the Kenyan midfielder, used his height, his strength, and his power to bullet that header into the back of the net. Essen got a touch, but he couldn't keep it out. Broken up then by Twardzik, making his first start for Celtic. And a foul there on Tony Watt, the 18-year-old. And it will also be a yellow card given out to Ross Draper, not much he could do about that. Mulgrew with the free kick. And it's not yet away. And over the top of the crossbar. Charlie Mulgrew hit it almost perfectly. And it's Paddy McCourt, just in the relaxed fashion, sent it over the bar. failed to score against Celtic last season that will need to change if they're to get anything from this game here's Sutherland now turns back inside Nick Ross back to Sutherland now Doran with the shot and Forster called into action for the first time he had a fine evening in Helsingborg on Tuesday night. And that one was going wide, but he couldn't take the chance. Mulgrew under pressure from Andrew Shinney. He's done well, and Izagiri onto Anyama. Now Twardzik and Celtic look to break. Oh, it's a great turn from Tony Watt. And he's in one-on-one -on -one with Essen. Gives him the eyes, and Tony Watt has another goal in Celtic colours. His first start, and the 18-year-old gets round Simon King. And how composed was the finish? A great turn of direction to deceive King. And look at the finish. Brilliantly put beyond the goalkeeper. And Celtic are two up. Celtic won both games here last season, 2-0. They're 2-0 up, but here's Doran and Shinny. A good chance for the former Rangers youngster. And from six yards out, he couldn't get it on target. You feel as well if he'd left this, perhaps, for Billy Mackay, he would have had an easier chance. The court now. Hooper, who drops deep. Now Twardzik, and a ball to the back post for Watt. Well, Twardzik almost caught in two minds as he put this one across goal. And Tony Watt just unable to turn it in. It was clever play by Twardzik. Celtic comes so close to making it three. Vanessa have won just twice here in the league in 21 attempts against Celtic. The last one, 3-2 victory in May 2011. Mulgrew gets on the end of the free kick and Charlie Mulgrew has his first league goal of the season. And Celtic start the second half 
the way they commenced the first. Just three minutes played since the break and Charlie Mulgrew makes it 3-0. Tony Watt, he's got pace to burn. He's got Hooper alongside him too. Gary Hooper for number four. Essen saves with his feet, but you would have put money on Gary Hooper to have tucked that one away. Last season's SPL top goal scorer. Unable to beat Essen. He's a Gire now. And Tony Watt beats the goalkeeper to it. And somehow keeps the ball in play. And right along the goal line from Tony Watt. Looking for his second goal of the afternoon. It's a great performance so far from the 18 year old. He looks a real talent and unfortunate not to get on the score sheet once again here. McCourt now. Izagiri has continued his run. The shoulder charge allows him to keep the ball. He's got Watt alongside him. Or Matthews at the back post. It's still on for Matthews. Watt! That's four. It's a double for Tony Watt, who scored two on his debut at Fir Park. He's now got two on his first SPL start for Celtic. Well, the first chance fell for Adam Matthews. You can see perhaps why he hasn't already scored a goal for Celtic, but he did well to set up the teenager for now his fourth SPL goal. Mackay, now Shinny threads the ball through the gap for Draper. And the home crowd have something to cheer about. Ross Draper with his first goal since joining Inverness from Macclesfield in the summer. It was a delightful ball threaded through from Andrew Shinny. Graham Shinney now. Connor Pepper, goal scorer at Tynecastle last weekend. Great ball. And Draper gets the rebound from Forster. Just three minutes left to play. And Inverness have their second goal. Great ball from Pepper. Draper with the shot. Saved by Forster. But it's Celtic who will take all three points.